Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video blog, I want to talk about uh, remembering code, remembering uh, functions, remembering classes. So let me jump into this a bit more. One of the things I dealt with early on in my web development career was uh, my insecurity in the fact that I was forgetting class names, function names, even CSS properties at times. And what you're going to discover as you learn more and more and more of this web stuff, you're going to find that you're going to forget things on a regular basis. And I'm here to tell you that if you forget stuff, um, I wouldn't mind too much about that. Don't worry about it. The important thing about web programming and web design is understanding the process, having good uh, design abilities, whether it be uh, the aesthetic design look, or whether it be uh, the design of your class structure if you're web programming. Knowing, you know, specific little details about what, what a particular CSS property might be to do, you know, X, Y, or Z, or whether what the exact function name is, or what the function arguments are uh, in PHP or any other language, really, it's not important. And in fact, when you use an integrated development environment, an IDE, basically a program designed to facilitate the process of writing software, whether it be Java, Ruby, uh, C Sharp, C++, PHP, they actually have a facility built in, a functionality built into these programs that does code completion or code hinting. So you start writing out a function name and the program will tell you what are your options because any experienced programmer knows that you're going to forget, you're not going to remember everything. And I'll tell you what, when I was first getting into Java way back in the day, I guess the mid, mid to late 90s, I wrote everything with Notepad, you know, Windows Notepad, and I, you know, I was able to write my code and stuff. But a lot of times, I would forget function uh, methods, method signatures, as they call them. Basically, those are the arguments and the, the details about the various methods uh, in the Java, well, in Java rather. And uh, so I would look it up and I'd do it, and it was fine. I get, you know, I would program. But then when I finally broke down and said, I'm going to get an IDE, an integrated development environment, one of these programs that helps programmers program, all of a sudden it was doing all this code completion, automatic, uh, automatically tell me what the options are, and I was able to write my software much more quickly, much more efficiently. And then you realize, as you've written, you know, your first, your second, when you're on your tenth piece of software, you start realizing that under, you know knowing the specific details is not it's not that important because you know what's important again is it's it's understanding of how to architect these things properly understanding how to structure your code properly how to lay out a page properly how to make it usable how to make it search engine friendly uh, or you know back to code how to write efficient functions or efficient methods the methods and functions same thing anyway that's another story if you're into programming so, what to take away from this video blog, if you're learning with stuff and you're feeling a little down, as I did at one point, because you're forgetting things that you used to know, or you go, ah, I forget that, you know, I forget that, I gotta remember these things. No, memory games like this are only things that are important if you're in elementary school and you're learning your ABCs or learning to count to 10. When it comes to advanced, advanced programming, it's the least important aspect of the whole, uh, the whole profession. So in fact, I'd rather take a highly experienced Java guy who understands coding and programming and, and, and how to structure code and how to make a rate efficient functions. Right? I'd rather have a guy like this and say, okay, here, we gotta do this in Ruby or we gotta do this thing in PHP. I know that this Java guy with years of experience developing applications will be a better Ruby programmer, a better PHP programmer, and a beginner who's only done one year of maybe some PHP or six months of PHP or Ruby, simply because he has that experience, because that experience of writing applications 
and understanding how to do these things properly transfers perfectly. Even though he doesn't know anything about the PHP syntax, even though he doesn't know the specific function names and so on, he'll still be better, or she will be better, because the, of that broad understanding. Same thing with CSS, HTML. It's, uh, again, it's about having that global understanding that differentiates the beginners from the experts, not somebody who remembers specific syntactical uh, nuances about a particular language. All right, that's it. I hope you found that interesting and uh, don't mind the cars. Again, because this is a video blog and not an official video, uh, I, I don't care about cars going on in the background. So I'm just recording this in my living room and uh, when an idea pops up in my head.